Hello everybody! So I did a thing and I went shopping and I went to TJ Maxx and it's the only second time that I've ever been there and I went to Hobby Lobby and that was the first time I've ever been there and oh my gosh. Let's just say we're very lucky that I only spent my money on one item because there was probably about 10 that I wanted and they weren't small. They were pretty big. Um, but anyways, I digress. I also went to Sephora over the weekend. So, you know, we're just going to clump this all together and just share with you what I got because I am so excited. So excited. Um, so first, let's talk about what I got at Sephora. Um, so first off, I restocked all my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, nothing exciting because it's the travel size. Everybody knows and loves this stuff. Like, it's great. It's to die for. I do enjoy the new packaging a lot more. So much cuter. So much, so much cleaner. Um, but I mean, you know, basic. I just needed it and they were out of the full size one. I was ready to commit. I bought the travel size the first time I ever used it. So I was like, am I really gonna use this? And then I thought, but I'm not gonna set my smake up every single day. And then I did and I ran out of it in two weeks. And I was like, all right. I guess it's time to get the big one but also like I would really really like to you know explore other options but um so yeah I just went ahead and got the travel size $15 no big deal um then I got one of the vice urban decay liquid lipsticks in the shade trivial oh it is so pretty so pretty can you tell the shine can you tell it <laughs> too close um it says that it's Vice Waterproof Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, which I would agree. Um, so I wore it today and I took it all off because it annoyed me. Because it was on for like eight hours and I was working and it was annoying me. But, um, so like it goes on super smooth and it, it, it has a little bit of sheen to it. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it, it is pretty sheeny in the bottle. Um, and while it lasts all day, by all means around eight hours of wear time, it started to like clump up, like little tiny clumps on here, but that could also be like, I didn't reapply it, I, I didn't put any balm on, I didn't exfoliate my lips, I drank coffee, ate, ate some more, and drank water all day. Um, so I mean, and I, I, it did taste good. Let's just throw that out there. I didn't mean to eat it, but I licked my lips. And while it didn't make my lips feel very dry, um, it did make them look dry, but there's so many other circumstances that that could not be the, it, it could just not be this lipstick's fault. Um, but it is just so pretty. There's a little bit of hair in there. But you know, basic doe foot applicator. Ugh. I mean, of course I had to go over it a couple times because it was like fucking thick. Oh, <gasps> sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, it is very pretty. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. And 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 eventually, like the sheen will go off. But it, I just wanted like a pinky nude, and that is perfect. It's it goes on so smooth. I don't have to go back in and get some more product. Like. It goes on and then some. So I mean like full coverage, long lasting. I would go and say waterproof. Like a little bit transferred off with my first couple of drinks of my coffee this morning. And that could have just been access that didn't like dry down all the way. But after that like sweet. So then next um, for spending over $25 I got a free gift at Sephora. So naturally I made myself spend that much um so one of the little testers was the bite a bite lipstick and it's in the shade rhubarb um high pigment lip pencil yeah lipstick um I've damaged it a little bit but look how cute a look how cute b look at that color oh that's so sh so cute so, in comparison, I got two pretty similar colors. Um, 
while the liquid lipstick hasn't dried down and become mattified yet, so it's still pretty reflective. Um, I mean, that is just as pretty. And let's see, let me just show you. I mean, while it isn't as intense, you can't tell on camera, but it's not as intense if you go over it a couple of times, but I mean, man, it's, it's a, it's a stick. So I like it. I mean, for being a sample, I wouldn't call this a sample. Maybe it's a sample. I don't know full size. I just highly doubt that's full size. No, I highly doubt that's a sample. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Today was such a long day. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. And then I went to TJ Maxx and I got some other things. Let's see, where's that? Oh, so I got this Clean Sweet makeup brush pad. I mean, it's pretty basic. Yeah, but I was very excited. And can you see it is a little dirty? Mm, Cause I used it and you know, it's great for those in between uses. And um, by no means is this how you should clean your brushes. But it is nice to have on hand to get that excess powder off, like say you need to use the same brush or something, or say you have limited brushes. Um, you know, whatever it may be, that's pretty cool to have. I like it, I do enjoy it. Um, then I bought this without even like knowing it was name brand. Um, I just knew that I wanted one and that I needed one, so I was like, oh, yes please. But I got a little, a little egg. I don't know if you call this an egg, but it's by Vintage Cosmetics. and. I don't know, like it's for your brushes and you know it's a little groovy. <laughs> groovy. Um, and it helps, you know, really get down in there. And the way that I've been washing it is just with the palm of my hand. I've tried to like put hot glue on, you know, I've seen some people say like a paper plate. It's a paper plate. And then like I've seen also some people say like one of the waxy plates. Um, also didn't do that great. So I thought, okay, let's just use like a small plate that I don't really use too often. It's not like it's a collection piece. It just came with like a mug and a plate set. And I, I barely use it. I only use it if all my other dishes are dirty. Um, so I was like, okay, this should work. So like, it didn't, the, the, the glue just didn't stay. And maybe it's the glue that I have, but it, you know, like one guy lasted through like four brushes and it all came off it just all came off so this guy is gonna come in handy I'm super excited super excited um then I got my very first Milani lipstick and you know I've seen a big hype about all of these and I figured why not um it's cheap it was like $2.99 regular at the drugstore I think it's like $4.99 so save three dollars you know, here's how pretty it is. You see that? Oh, so reflective. So I got the shade Sugar Glaze. I don't even think I looked at the shade name. I just picked it because I liked it because apparently I'm into these colors right now. So I have not used it. Oh, hey, he's Matt. Can you tell? Um, so. E. Also the first time I've ever swatched it. And that's my first swatch. We're not doing so great, Milani. We're not doing so great. So it does drag on the skin quite a bit. It is pretty buildable. Um, pretty shiny. Not the color I thought it was gonna be though. I mean, is that just me? Do those not match? I don't think they do. Oh God, Ugh. smells like candy. I don't enjoy that smell. Um, but yeah, but I mean, that's pretty. It's a, it is pretty and it's very woo, shiny. I wonder, does the Vice one smell? It does, it does not smell good. Smells like chemicals. I prefer Milani's gross smell over that. Um, that was not part of this. The bite one. I don't like that smell either. Okay, so you know, it's either chemicals or, or 
since to cover up the chemicals. Um, but you know, <laughs> lipsticks. And then, and then, so I'm about to move in with my boyfriend and it's a three bedroom house. So, you know, he gets the garage and I get the third bedroom. It's only fair. So it's going to be, you know, like my office, my makeup room, all that fun stuff. So I went and looked in like the decorations and I just couldn't help myself when I saw this. And I just, I don't know. I, I like it. I think it's so cute and it, it, you know, it's like lace and it's, it's white and it does a pretty decent job holding my brushes, of course. Um, let's see, Luxie brush, who I can put in here now. You know, he does, he reaches a little higher than my Morphe brushes, but that's okay. Like, it's still not hurting them. I don't know, it'll do for now. If anything, you know, like I'll figure out something else to do with it. But for right now, just look at that. I don't know why it's so simple, but I love it. Oh, I thought about spray painting like some gold on it because I apparently decided that my seed, seed theme was going to be um, white and gold and probably black because, you know, I, I do like the color black. But I got this. Look at that. Dream big, guys. Dream big. Isn't this just so cute? Oh, man. Oh man, I can't wait. And then to put the cherry on top. Because why not? I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw, oops, I saw this and I absolutely fell in love and I thought it would just be so perfect. So, look at it. Look at that. Ah. Oh. I just love it. Oh my gosh. Not a lot of room back here, guys. Oh man. Oh. So, you know, my room's gonna be pretty sweet. Better than the garage. But yeah. Um, you know, I just had to share with you guys. Sorry, I had to get situated. And show you, you know, my little makeup related stuff, right? Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you just. So, 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 Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends, tell everybody, tell your dog, your cat, your mom, your boss. I mean, I don't care. I'll take anybody. Um, you know, let them know. And if you enjoyed what you saw, keep coming back. Thanks, girls. Bye.